Hello everyone, here we have a sample problem for MEC370, Modeling Analysis and Control Systems. So we have a, a block diagram or a nice system here where we want to get the modeling equations. That's generally the first step in any modeling problem. Now what we notice here, it's a bit special since we have relative motion. So I see that mass 2 is already defined here having motion x2 but m1 doesn't. So I'm going to define here the absolute motion of m1 to be z1. And here I'm also going to pick my positive x-axis. Now, to make this problem a bit easier, let's first define the equation of relative motion for this problem. So we see x1. What it's telling us is that x1 is the relative motion between m1 and m2. So m1 has z1 minus m2, which has motion of x2. So I have the relative motion for here, this problem. And to really get into the solution here, we have to go start drawing the free body diagrams. So I'm going to have mass 1 and mass 2. Now let's start drawing here the forces acting on this block. So I see that both blocks are moving towards the right. So that tells me that the inertial force should be going towards the left. And then similarly here, for the spring, for the damping, for M1, I'm going to also make them go towards the left. And then for M2, since the inertial force is going to the left, for damping, I'm going to make it move towards the left as well. And you'll see why I make all these goals go towards the left. Now, also acting on M2, I have the force applied. So let's start filling in the blanks here. So for here, uh, the inertial is going to be M1, Z double dot 1, KZ1. Here we'll have B, and then we'll have something in brackets here. So since M1 is dependent on Z1, Z1 should be first in the brackets. So we'll have Z dot 1 minus X dot 2. And then if I do the same thing for mass 2, here we'll have M2, X double dot 2, B with something in brackets. And then again, we know that M2 is dependent on X2. So here we're going to have X dot 2 coming first, minus Z dot 1. And here we have F A T, which is the applied force. So what we want to do next is we want to develop the set of modeling equations based off these free body diagrams. And basically what we're going to do is some of the forces in the x direction. So if I do some of the forces, we'll see we're going to have m1 z double dot 1 plus b z dot 1 minus x dot 2 plus k z1 is equal to 0. So this is for mass 1. And if I look at mass 2, we'll have m2 x double dot 2 plus b x dot 2 minus z dot 1 is equal to f a t. So here is your system of equations. Now what's really important to note is that the solution does not want z1. If you look back in this diagram, we're given it in terms of x1 and x2. So what we need to do here is we need to get rid of z1 in these set of equations. So if you want to find out how to solve the rest of this problem and any problem that has to do with MEC 370, please come visit us in Grade Savers and come visit us at the weeklies in the crashes.